Warn me, we're gonna hit something. Okay. Okay. okay, now to the right. Right, more, no, oh, no, a little bit more, further. More towards the right, the right, the right. Straight, straight, straight. Okay, right, right, right. Keep going. Okay, we're good. Keep going straight. Now you're gonna make a slight left. Up, up, good. Okay, keep going straight. Good. Keep going straight, you're good, you're almost there. Okay, wait, 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 right here, there's a there's a door. Let me open it. Back your stick up, back your stick Okay. There's gonna be a small step. This is the way the blind man comes. Princes, princes. Lock step. Two heads lit, but the eyes of one. What new thing do you have to tell us, old Tiresias? I have much to tell. Listen to the prophet, Creon. I was not aware that I've ever failed to listen. Then you have done wisely, king, and ruled well. I admit my debt to you, but what have you to say? This, Creon, you stand once more on the edge of fate. What do you mean? Your words are a kind of dread. Listen, Creon, I was sitting in my chair of augury at the place where the birds gather about me. They were all chattered, as is their habit, when I suddenly heard a strange note in their jangling. A scream, a whirring fury. I knew they were fighting, tearing each other, dying. In a whirlwind of wings clashing, and I was afraid. I began the rites of bird offering at the altar, but Hephaestus failed me. Instead of bright flame, there was only the sputtering slime of fat thigh flesh. Melting, the entrails dissolved in gray smoke. The bare bone burst from the welter, and no blaze. This was a sign from heaven. My boy described it, seeing for me as I see for others. I tell you, Creon, you yourself have brought this calamity upon us. Our hearths and altars are stained with the corruption of dogs and carrion birds that collect themselves on the corpse of Oedipus' son. The gods are deaf when we pray to them. The fire recoils from our offering. Their birds of omen have no cry of comfort, for they are gorged with the thick blood of the dead. Oh, my son, these are no trifles. Think. All men make mistakes, but a good man yields when he knows his course is wrong and repairs the evil. The only crime is pride. Give in to the dead man. Then, do not fight with the corpse. What glory is it to kill a man who is dead? Think, I beg you. It is for your own good that I speak as I do. You should be able to yield for your own good. It seems that prophets have made me a special province. All my life long, I've been a kind of butt of dull arrows for doddering fortune tellers. No, Tiresias, if your birds, if the eagles of God himself would carry him sneaking bit by bit to heaven, I will not yield, I am not afraid of pollution, no man can defile the gods. Do what you will, go into business, make money, speculate in India gold or that synthetic gold from Sardis. Get rich, hurt by the might sit, bury him. Tiresias, it is a sorry thing when a wise man sells his wisdom and lets out his words for hire. Ah, Creon, is there no man left in the world? To do what? Come, let's have the aphorism. No man who knows that wisdom outweighs any wealth. And surely his bribes are baser than any baseness. You are sick, Creon. Deathly sick. As you say, it's not my place to challenge a prophet. Yet you have said that my prophecy is for sale. The generations of prophets have always loved gold. And the generation of kings has always loved brass. You forget yourself. You're speaking to your king. I know it. You are king because of me. You have a certain skill, but you have sold out. King, you will drive me to words that- SAY THEM! Say them! Only remember you will not be paid for them! No, you will find them too costly! No doubt speak! No matter what you say, you will not change my will! Then take this! And take it to heart! The time is not far off and you shall pay back. Corpse for corpse. Flesh of your own flesh! You have thrust the child of the world into living night! You have kept from the gods below the child that is theirs. The one in the grave before her death, the other dead denied the grave. This is your crime. And the Furies, the gods of hell are swift with terrible punishment for you. Do you want to buy me now, Creon? Not many days and your house will be full of men and women weeping. 
and curses will be hurled at you from far. City's grieving. Your son got buried. Left to rot. Before the walls of Thebes. These are my arrows, Creon. They are all for you. But come, child, lead me home. Let him waste his fine anger upon younger men. Maybe he will learn at last. Good choice to have a wiser tongue and a better head. What's that?